Hello everyone. This is Asha. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Tech My Head. So I am back with another episode in the series of interview experiences. And this time we have Abhishek with us. No, first thing is he came forward, you know, to share his experience through our channel. So Abhishek, very thankful to you, we are because you yourself, you know, uh, uh, took forward, uh, put a step forward yes, to sir. share your experience. Thank you so much. Even I'm thankful to you all, sir. It's your videos that actually. helped me a lot and guided me as to how i should prepare for the uh, interviews thank you thank you so much so going further uh, abhishek can you tell small info about you to our audience yes so sure so hey guys i am from belgaum karnataka i am pursuing my engineering degree in cs in my third year uh, i am an average guy i just go below, uh, between 80 to 90 not above that so i'll be sharing about my personal experience which i had with my persistent interview and and i'll be taking you all throughout the process yeah. yes. so coming to persistent systems like uh, so firstly what is the role they offer to you the software engineer role uh -huh. so uh, yes. what's the package for that so the package is 4.7 lakhs okay good good so coming to the interview process like how was the interview yes, happened like uh, any uh, what kind of what are the different types of uh, rounds happened and uh, what what's the process hello everyone before watching rest of the video i have an information for you you all know about real level by an academy and the latest news is it has made all their tests free of cost which means you can take up the test without paying any any you know money to real level so in this video let me tell you what are the back end development test pattern and syllabus and uh, what are the job offers that you have for back end so yeah, here you can see we have urban company lead square cred one and many other companies that are providing job opportunity through front end so when you click on front end and you you know scroll down you can get the browser so when you click on download browser you will get a browser where you get syllabus and everything so this is how it looks like so let me take you to there so generally this back end test consists of you know, different rounds but all these rounds will be completed in the single day so you need not to complete uh, you know the, the test in a different time slide uh, time stamps you just need to complete uh, everything in the single day so the first round and second round will be conducted at the same time where it will have back to basic uh, you know basics and assessing your algos which means you no know, you will get mcqs to test your fundamentals in programming and your algorithms and in the <coughs> round 3 and round 4 you need to create a feature regarding back end and need to optimize that that's how you will you will be doing in 3 and 4 and the fifth round is the interview so when you complete all this you will get your real level score with which you will you know you can get job opportunity in the companies so to know about the registration process and more details in prior so you can watch the full length video that i have made i will provide the link in description so go and watch that so all you need to do is registering for real level guys because it is i you know uh, you need not to pay any rupee to real level an academy and this is a limited period offer guys go soon as soon as possible and click book your slot since they are rapidly filling up okay so so persistent has three rounds that's the mm -hmm. aptitude and the elimination round later mm -hmm. you have your technical interview later you have an hr assessment so mm -hmm. technical i cleared my elimination round and technical interview they sent a mail and then it was around it was in the evening i joined around 6 the person didn't show up interview didn't show up, so i had to wait for some time mm -hmm. so at that time you should not panic actually you need to wait patiently yes and then they showed up and the interview went on for some 30 to 35 minutes sir mm -hmm. that's great so coming to tr interview so what kind of questions you were asked by the interviewer okay so, so basically starting off i had mentioned uh, the languages as c java and python so the mm -hmm. first question came up as why do you think java is safe when mm -hmm. compared to other object oriented languages like c++ mm -hmm. uh i first answer them it's maybe because it doesn't use multi level uh multi level sorry multiple inheritance they were like no not because of that and then i tried guessing and then i said maybe it doesn't have pointers uh, so they were satisfied with that answer and then they asked questions on oops uh, operation overloading method overloading overriding and uh, they asked more questions on dbms like the schema and such things mm -hmm. and then they gave an example suppose you are a theater suppose you are building a database for a theater what mm -hmm. all tables will you be needing so i to explain what all tables are needed their attributes and those things mm -hmm. later they asked me to program two coding questions one was palindrome and the other was uh, sorting algorithm i chose I, i told them what is sorting algorithm and then i said i'll code i'll code for bubble sort okay. they were pleased with it 
and then later they asked me to explain what is merge sort so i just had to explain them what it is i didn't have to code later questions went on and it went on through how internet works you just had to give a basic explanation about it and then they asked uh, about data mining which i actually didn't know because i didn't study it in my course i said i don't know and they were like okay with it they didn't have an issue mm-hmm. they asked me later about supervised and unsupervised machine learning mm-hmm. i have heard of it so i just told them i'm not sure but this is how it works i just give an explanation and they were okay with it later they asked me about polymorphism and they uh, and then they asked me uh, how do you explain class and object in simple words with an example i took about car as an example car manufacturing company the different cars so i told about them later they even asked me uh, about waterfall model it comes mm-hmm. in software engineering yes actually this is something people tend to skip they'll be like okay software engineering they might not ask so deeply yeah. actually when i had skipped that i was not able to explain them fully but i somehow managed so they asked yeah. me about waterfall model and what is agile system software yes so yes. you all need to prepare that too that's important and that's how uh, sir and then they okay. asked me to explain about my project mm-hmm. so uh, i had done two projects i explained about them to swine so basically what they are testing here is not just about one thing about overall like from machine learning to dbms to computer networks everything you just need to have a basic idea about that that's very important guys that's good yes, yeah so initially they are, they asked you about what are the languages that you know right so yes, is sir. that question based on of your resume or just asked you by if you know watching you no sir like in our resume we need to mention which all mm-hmm. languages we know so mm. what they usually ask is which language you are comfortable with so that mm. they can put up the questions like mm. suppose if i would say python they wouldn't have asked me sorting questions they would have asked me more about tuples and dictionaries yes. so they ask us which we are comfortable with okay good good so <clears throat> after clearing ti you moved to hr right yes sir. Yeah. so both uh, both the interviews happened on the same day or there is there any difference uh, no sir actually uh, that day only tr happened hr mm-hmm. was not an interview type it was an mm-hmm. mcq hr assessment okay. that came up after some 7 days it came after mm-hmm. a week okay so, so i'll explain about that hr mm-hmm. yeah sure okay so it was an assessment so the basic question there was actually it had 50 questions and the, mm-hmm. and the, there was only one question what describes you the best that was the same questions for all 50 and the options differ so usually they give you three options like suppose what describes you the best a uh, helpful and a team member good team player or uh, a great leader or three i made deadlines correctly so in this you have to choose what describes you the best and if you choose i am a great team player the next question will be with the just remaining two options that is leader or meet deadlines uh, and then you have to choose one and then the question repeats again uh, what describes you the best with three other different options like good at technical people ask me technical things or i ask people for help such things so and sometimes the question repeats here that's basically because they are testing you how true you are and what kind of person you are okay. so it wasn't an interview type sir mm-hmm. just like an assessment uh, so actually they give us time limit for 15 minutes but mm-hmm. it crosses about 30 because 50 questions are there it takes around 30 yes, minutes true. to do yeah so after that's completing your hr as well as tr you got the offer letter right Yes, sir, that's right. So, is the TR is the elimination round, or whatever the whatever your performance is, you will be moved to HR? Is that so? Yes, yeah, so basically the aptitude round that's the elimination round, and mm-hmm. TR is also an elimination round. If you are not good at it, like you won't be selected for mm-hmm. HR. HR, mm-hmm. I believe it is just for a formality because most of them who clear TR, uh, cleared even HR. Mm-hmm. Great, great. So after completing this uh, interview process like TR and HR, how many days it took for you to get the offer letter? So it came in quick, within two, three days. They actually mm-hmm. announced the results mm-hmm. within two days and then the mm-hmm. offer letter comes in a week's time. Okay, good. So coming to the written test pattern, so what kind of uh, process is that? Like what is the pattern for that? Okay, so, so the written test, it's divided into two. One is mm-hmm. MCQ types, another is coding questions. I'll first talk mm-hmm. about the coding questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll have 45 minutes time and there will be two coding questions. The first one will be simpler and the second moderate. It's not going to be tough. You just need to be an average or mediocre. It's fine, you will clear it. You don't have to be, you don't have to think, okay, I can't do it and all. A mediocre can clear it off. So the first question which I had was, they're usually scenario based you need to find out what they're asking once you sort that out it's simple so what i had was like 
count the number of consonants in a string. That's pretty simple. We can do it using Python. And the second one was uh, count the frequency in a given string, like okay. frequency of digits in a given string. Mm -hmm. But it's not as, actually as easy as it looks. They give a big scenario. They tell us what's happening. Like a person is working in a factory. He has to find something. And then yeah. once you understand it, this is what the question looks like. Yeah. They directly so won't give you the minutes. particular question. They, you know, they pull it. You should pull, pull it from a large paragraph. Yes, sir. That's right. That's how it works. Uh, like it almost, I, the time is 45 minutes, but you're, if you're good at programming, if you're already practiced, you all can finish it off by 20 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Okay. And the next thing is MCQs. Mm -hmm. Now MCQs is further divided into four sectors. First is verbal, logical, quants, and computer science. Verbal, it had, uh, okay. The total time limit is, uh, I guess, 50 to 60 minutes, but each subse subsection has a time limit. Verbal had 10 minutes time. That's basically deals with your vocabulary, error detection, and such things. That's simple. You all will be able to clear it off. Okay. Next is logical. I guess it had around 15 to 20 minutes time. So as you all know, in logical, the main thing is patterns, mm -hmm. data sufficiency, puzzles, and then time or the angle between things, such things come. You will have to practice it and you all should be good at logical thinking. That's what it requires. And then next is quants. It was around 25 to 30 or 20 minutes. So quants, this is the most important section in aptitude. This is where most of them fail and which I personally find it very difficult. I actually had to practice a lot. So the main things here are uh, percentages, work, time, distance, efficiency, permutation, probability, and mixtures, allegations. These are the things which you'll have to focus on. And even age sometimes. So age comes mm -hmm. in the logical part. These are the main topics you need to prepare. So once this is done, the next is uh, MCQs on computer science, like how much you all know the subjects. Actually, so because, you know, we had lockdown, uh, I skipped my, like two, se two semesters were online. So I mm. found this part personally difficult because main uh, chapters like OS, computer networks, they were doing the online. Yes. Online period. So it was a bit difficult. So the computer mm. science part has 20 questions or so something. It mm. deals with DBMS, operating system, computer networks, findings, error in code, and in DBMS, normalization is very important. I request you all to practice that. That's plays an important role. So that's also this aptitude had four sections and it took around 50 to 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. that's great. So this is your basic elimination role, aptitude and coding as one. Mm -hmm. Great. So after giving a written test, how many days it will take you to get the result? Uh, so the result you will get within two to three days, mm -hmm. but uh, the interview for TR, will be scheduled after one or two weeks. Actually, mm -hmm. it took a long time. Okay. I guess one week or so. So that my total process from uh, ap from the aptitude to HR, it took around three weeks, I believe. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes, sir. So <clears throat> after you know clearing these interviews and you know after attending these couple of interviews virtually and all, so what kind of suggestions that you would like to give to the people who are willing to join IT or in particular persistent systems too? So what kind of suggestions okay. you would like to give? So basically, guys, uh, if it's talking about the interview, one thing you all need to be sure is it's going to be virtual. So yes. your body language might not be observed much, but the way you speak and the confidence, it matters a lot. So uh, practice the introduction. So every company you're going to attend is going to ask you your intro. So yes. practice that, uh, write it down, practice it in front of the mirror, be clear with it. So that creates the first impression and that itself helps you a lot. And suppose you mess up with that. The thing is, you'll be frightened and sometimes the next further questions, you might be a little scared or nervous and you might not be able to think properly. So that's the important thing. And what you'll need to practice is for the test and interviews is aptitude. You all can use in uh, India Bakes or YouTube channels. You all can practice your aptitude questions there. And then for coding, I personally used HackerRank. My friends suggested CodeChef and other things, but I found HackerRank good. So I kept practicing that. I started some two months before. And mm -hmm. try making a group with your friends. Actually, we made a group. They help us like um, before, while practicing and all, we used to send them questions. And then they used to send us the answer and then discuss how this answer came. So make a good friends group and keep practicing so that you won't do everything by yourself. Like they'll be able to help you. True. And then, uh, so coding is Hacker Rank and Geeks for Geeks. These two helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Great. That's it, guys. You just have to be confident, practice your aptitude, do the coding, and have knowledge about your 
curriculum like whatever you all had that's it so these are some really true points that we should note because yeah see you alone can't you know prepare you uh, everything you by yourself you need some yes, solutions like, from people yeah. like some people suggested me some books Hmm. and then some people suggest me to uh, try these websites they are helpful and then be close with your seniors actually my senior there's a person he helped me a lot he guided me he said do this see in this java you need to prepare these things in python yes. these things are important so have a good rapport with your seniors too true experience matters yes, sir. yes true yes sir so yeah abhishek i think you given much more information regarding you know preparation strategies and how to clear persistence systems in deep yeah so i yes. think we are about to end so thank you once again abhishek you you know for sharing your experience this way this may help yes, at pleasure, least one sir. people uh, one guy out there that's true so, yes even yeah. i was helped like this through your videos <laughs> thank you thank you so much thank you abhishek yes, thank you Bye.